Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mustangs. Yeah, yeah, long time coming. Yes. Um, it is a fabulous day in Mustang Nation. My name is Jackie Kendall, and I'm a 1977 graduate of Manor High School. Yeah. All of y'all. You know, um, I am so excited to get this assignment to be the mistress of ceremony because my first public speaking engagement was right here 44 years ago in this little theater. Like many of you with Mr. Williams. Um, it's been full circle for many of us. And seven of our colleagues and alumni are still here in the building. You know, we went from student, now teacher and staff, which is an amazing accomplishment. I was the chair for the Reclaiming Manor High School Legacy Committee, co-chair, architect, Brendan Allen, uh, the Cindy, Cindy Green, Cindy Poole, the Pulleys, and the members of the first graduating class of Manor High School. It was a, an effort, seven, seven long months, four days, 14 hours <laughs> of really strategically planning and executing to get us to this day. And it is a wonderful day. I'm looking out of a sea of red and black. I see a lot of people I haven't seen in a while. I see members from Norco. I see some of my crowd out people. You know, I see some of our Wilson people. And it's so good that we can get together and to unify. And I thank you for that. So welcome, welcome, welcome to our beautiful updated school. You like it? You like the stuff? Give Dr. Johnson a hand. He did a great job. And his staff, wonderful. This is a historic day in Portsmouth. This is a historic day in Portsmouth Public Schools. And we all should be proud, and I'm glad that we are here to all experience that. So before we get started, I got some bookkeeping, a little housekeeping. Um, first of all, if you haven't gone to the back after the program, you're going to have plenty of time. They've got artifacts back there dating back from the first graduating class uh, all the way up to the last graduating class. We got, what, jackets back there, what, megaphones, all kind of artifacts that came from the Manor Legacy. So when you get a chance, please take a, take a moment to, to look at it. And also the refreshments. Um, also, on each end where the flowers are, there is a station for you to greet our new students that are coming, our new baby Mustangs. They come in, what, in a few weeks, like, I mean, a few days, like, September the 7th, Tuesday. So if you can write them a greeting, you know, pass on some knowledge to them, we would greatly appreciate it. So, as we begin time together today, I ask that you please stand for the presentation of the national colors of our AJROTC. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
So let me take this opportunity to formally welcome our special guests that are here with us today. Members of the Manor High School Alumni Association. And you can stand. Members of the Reclaim the Manor High School Committee. Former faculty of Manor High School, Ms. Celestine Harding, 90 plus. Members of city council who are in attendance. Members of the school board that are here in attendance. Members of our superintendent senior staff. And Dr. Eli Bracey III, our division superintendent for of city schools. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. In fact, at this time, I would like to welcome one of our school board chairperson of board members, that's Dr. Cardell Patilio, to give us a formal few remarks. Dr. Patilio joined the school board in 2014, and at that time, he has continued to rise to the leadership positions, including vice chairman and now chairman of our Portsmouth School Board. He's a tireless advocate for children, and for students, and he has prepared them for successful futures. So, please, without further ado, we'd like to welcome Dr. Cardell Patilio. Good afternoon. I'm honored to stand before you for this amazing uh, moment in history. Uh, growing up, I recall my father uh, telling me stories about how there was a need for Manor High School when it was built. He would tell me stories as a student attending Craddock High School, how he would have to run and be chased through Academy Park until he made it safely to Cavalier Manor from school. Just as there was a need for Manor to reopen at that time, there's a need for Manor to reopen this time. Yeah. 28 years, some alumni have waited. 28 years, 336 months, 10,200 days, 245,280 hours. You've seen six U.S. presidents, eight governors of this commonwealth, and after all of that, change has finally come back to Manor High School, and you all should be thankful and grateful for that. Mustangs. Is there any Mustang power in the house? Mustangs are often referred to Dr. Johnson as wild horses because they once descended from domesticated animals, but now they're considered wild because they cannot be contained. I say that to say that as you leave this place today, you are not to leave sounding or cheering like any other high school. You are to stand out from the rest. You've wanted Mustang power. You've wanted Mustang spirit. Now that it's here, I challenge you to show it everywhere you go. With that challenge, I say this. There should not be a need for any sports program in this school. There should not be a need for scholarships flowing through this school. Dr. Johnson should not have to come to the school board and beg for anything for this school. You are strong and powerful 
to make this moment happen, stay strong and powerful, and support your school the way you should. As alumni should. Thank you all for this moment. And I believe I can say on behalf of my father who graduated from the first class in 1973, on behalf of my uncles, Champ and Bud, who graduated in the class of 1984, I would glad to say Mustang pride and power is back in the city of Forsyth. Thank you. Mustang pride, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Pertilio. That was amazing, that's amazing. And I grew up around the street from his father, Butch. <laughs> Earlier this week, Dr. Bracey shared a prepared video presentation to all the staff members in our division. And his remarks, he shared our theme. Our theme is the time is now. Say it with me. The time is now. And in it, he charged educators to transform and to inspire and to manage expectations to successfully navigate this upcoming year and to bring about the best results for our kids. And that's what we're gonna do. But now you can see the impact of the approach from time, T-I-M-E, as it's played out today in this ceremony. We have transformed our building. We've inspired by the Manor High School legacy and history. And now it's time for us to manage the expectations for how we will, again, be the best school in Portsmouth. Can I get a clap? <laughs> so, I am going to introduce you to our superintendent, and I'm gonna yield my time because in the video, he didn't have enough time to do his. So I yield my time to you, Dr. Bracey, in hopes that you'll do. But anyway, uh, Dr. Eli Bracey III. Thank you, Ms. Kendall, for that introduction. The time is now, but it's not time for that performance that she's asking for. <laughs> she's gonna have to, to wait on that. But I will give her an A because she did watch the video attentively because she definitely broke down the T-I-M-E. So kudos to you for doing that. But I wanna say good afternoon, Mustangs. How are you? Now wait a minute, I thought this was the Mustang. I'm thrilled to be here today uh, with you in the little theater. To, and I'm just gonna share a few brief remarks. I wanna take just a moment to reflect on the journey that brought us here to this moment and this rededication ceremony. In the spring and early summer months of 2020, we as a nation, we were engaged in debates and discussions about racial injustice following the killings of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd. As you will recall, protests against systemic racism were happening in many cities across the country, including ours here in Portsmouth. There were debates on renaming buildings, monuments, and institutions named for Confederate leaders or those who supported racial injustices. In that spirit, we began hearing from this school community. We received emails, we were getting phone calls. People were reaching out and sharing their personal disappointment that we had a school in our own division that was named for a president who had, was documented as overseeing segregation in federal offices and praising racial hate, racial hate groups. How can we even begin to talk about equality they were arguing when one high school is celebrating such inequality by its very name. I want you to know that we heard you loud and clear. And I want to take this opportunity now to praise our school board, including the members that are here with us today, 
and those who had the courage to say, you're right, we need to look at this. Through public hearings, the support was overwhelming from speakers, some of which are here today, to talk about the change, changing of the name, to use the name of a school to honor and reflect the true spirit of the community it serves. The board took that feedback and made it official in an overwhelming vote. Now, I want to walk us through the journey for a specific reason. Today is possible because people saw a wrong and they spoke up. They said, this is not acceptable. And they used their voice as an agent of change. We tell our students every day that they will make a difference in this world. And all they have to do is tell you if they needed, if they, and if they needed a practical case, this would be the one that they could look at. They could look at this school. I want to, I want to point out that when the board made the decision to change names here, something really beautiful happened. In renaming this school, we were able to heal another wound. We were able to bring back the beloved Manor High School back to our school division. I cannot speak to the rationale of the change that took place over 30 years ago, but I can say that I'm proud to be able to be with you today as we officially rededicate Manor High School. And I know I'm not alone there, am I? We were able to talk to a few of our community members about what the change means to them. And I would like to share their insights with you now. Matter is a part of me. Matter has always been a part of me since I entered those uh, walls. When I was a little league cheerleader in Captain Matter, uh, Matter Bay. Came to see those elves coming down the street. It was that from that point on that I pushed to be a listener. Our band was just top to none. They had what we called the square, where students could go and sit between classes. Man was a happy school. We had fun at Man, and we did well. I felt like I had a family extended family. So Man meant a lot to me. To have it back in the community um, means a lot because a lot of the people who graduated from Manor still live in the community, either them or their parents. And we're knowledgeable that it's not going to be our old school, but a new Manor High School, but just the name itself, bringing it back, means everything. Having uh, one school where everyone was in the same neighborhood going to that school, we just said, well, we're just going to have a uh, dynamite sports program, the football team, the basketball team. I remember nights when we, when we would drive up to the game that the parking lot was full. Uh, that means a cellar. And just the whole environment, the library. Now high school, for me, represents unity represents togetherness, represents uh, family. Uh, the beginning of who I am as a professional. It means um, that they instilled in us values, guidance. We all have that same pride. No matter our background, you would demand, we're connected. Even if you don't agree, with the same ideology, even if you don't have my ethnicity, we're connected. If you went to Manor, that is our common denominator. I think that it will be a positive, a smooth transition. Uh, the, the school board was very supportive, the superintendent, and I believe the community uh, is eagerly looking forward uh, to this. Parents of the students, that's going to Manor High School for Manor students. And they're going to tell them how much fun they had when they were at Manor and what kind of program they got involved in and what they did and just kind of brought them up because they were so happy. And to know that now my 13 year old will be going to the school that his mom graduated from. And he's actually excited about it and his diploma 
will hang beside mine, and they'll both say that in high school. Thank you to all of you all that participated in this video and putting into words how so many others feel. I just want to thank everyone again for coming out today and we're looking forward to an exciting new school year here at Manor High. Thank you, Dr. Bracey, and you know we are patient. We will wait. We will wait. <laughs> It is my honor to welcome to the stage our final speaker, my principal. It's Dr. Timothy Johnson, but let me just tell you a few things about him. He's been a staple here in the Portsmouth school system for three decades, having taught at the original Manor High School from 1989 to 1992, and then eventually becoming the building president here for 16 years. So now, if you know Dr. Johnson, you know he's always filled with school pride, he's always encouraging and challenging staff and students. And you know, let me just stop, I'm gonna let, you, let him tell you. So next on the stage is Dr. Timothy Johnson. Good evening. What a great day to be a Mustang. I am so excited. Uh, like she said, I started my teaching career here at Manor High School in 1989, and I have come full circle. One of my former principals is here, Mr. Lindell Wallace, my mentor. Uh, let's give Mr. Wallace a hand. This is a very difficult, Dr. Bracey that, and the whole video, that was a very difficult act to follow. But it is a great act to follow. I believe our alumni and former school leaders have so eloquently put into words what Manor High School means to them. I will not try to add to their great insights now about what Manor High School means to me personally. We don't have that much time, but I do think it is important for me to share what Manor High School means today. And for me, that can be summed up in one word, and that word is opportunity. Our students know we will have the opportunity of knowing what it is to be a Manor Mustang. They will wear that red, white, and black and with pride and see their connected network of current and former alumni in their community. It is the opportunity for restoration for many of our alumni who have supported our school in former years, but who have struggled to get past the name spelled on the building. Now there is only joy in seeing Manor High School back on Elmhurst Lane. More importantly though, I want to make clear that every child at Manor High School has the opportunity to create the successful future of his or her dreams. And that by being a Manor Mustang and being a part of Portsmouth Public Schools, they will be provided with a strong foundation of educational rigor where they can go on to be doctors and lawyers and engineers and coders and soldiers and sailors. Or they may take one of the best jobs in the world and become a teacher where they can come back here to Manor High School and inspire the next generation of learners and leaders. Manor High School has always been represented by greatness and it has always stood for something wonderful in the community. And I am proud to be able to be the principal here at Manor High School. I take great pride in saying I have the best job in Portsmouth because I get to be the principal of Manor High School.
I can speak for our school and our teachers and staff members, those of us who have joined us here today, and those teachers that are still working in classrooms preparing for our students on Tuesday. We will not squander this opportunity. We will do right by you, and we will do right by our students. We will continue to push them and to give them a space where they can find inspiration and encouragement. We will be that place that allows their creativity and their curiosity to grow. This Manor High School will pick up right where it left off and continue this ongoing legacy of excellence. And in speaking of carrying out legacies, I am honored to have another special video message to share with you. This one comes from one of our more well-known Manor alumni, Missy, Mr. Mita Elliott. <laughs> teacher when she was here at Manor High School. We have thanked Missy and her team for helping us with this ceremony today. And in light of our musical connection to our school, I can think of no better time than to welcome to the stage our Director of Choral Activities, Mrs. Pamela Morris, who will perform for us a rendition of our Manor School alma mater. I ask that you please stand at this time.
job, Ms. Morris, and thank you to Ms. Jenkins. Let's give them another hand. Wow. Thank you. Before we leave here today, we have one last piece of official business to perform. At this time, it's my pleasure to ask our division superintendent and our board vice chair to head to the table here to my left. We are here today one of last one of the last three rededication ceremonies taking place this afternoon. Earlier today, Dr. Bracey and our special guests were at Waterview Elementary School and Crowder Elementary School. All of us are rededicating our buildings today in one united series of celebration. Each of you will unveil a new commemorative plaque and share the following, that shares the following message. As many of you know, when a school building is dedicated, there is a plaque that is hung in the building to officially document the building's place in its community's history. Each of our three schools will now share matching plaques to hang in our buildings as a permanent reminder of the historic changes we have put place in our schools. And also, it is my honor on behalf of our school and the Portsmouth Public Schools to publicly declare that as of today, September the 3rd, 2021, this building is officially renamed and formally dedicated as Manor High School. At this time, as they reveal the plaque, I ask, let's give, you got it? Okay, let's give, let's give it a hand. The new plaque that will hang at Manor High School. Thank you again for being here on this most important day. There are refreshments in the back of the room and we again welcome you to leave a message for our students in the rear and enjoy looking at the memories of Manor High School. Thank you for coming this afternoon and have a great day. <laughs>